Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and whenever you have the opportunity to join me. I'm Dr. Jan. This is Journey with Jesus, Nuggets of Thought. This week's nugget is I'm on the winning side with Jesus. Now to remind you that our Bible study is being divided into three different presentations. Today is the introduction that starts with praise, then we look at command, covenant, connection, and then action. Wednesday I will be posting a text uh, just a touch base in the middle of the week and then Saturday always ends with a uh, prayer learning how do we talk to God and stay in his presence you can always then go back and look at previous week's episodes and I am in the description giving the links for last week but I can't keep listing week after week after week but as you go back and you get involved uh, like, follow, share, comment. Uh, we'll get them all out and people will be able to go through and find them. I am so thankful this is not about me. This is all about God. Journey with Jesus, everyone. The journey begins with the first step. So I'm glad you're here. This is for anyone who is wanting to walk a closer walk with Jesus and you may not know him yet as your Lord and Savior and you may have known him for years whatever the place is that you are in you are in the right place and I thank God for you and I've already prayed before we got started that this will be a journey that each of us can take and then support one another so throughout the week I really am looking for this to be a community effort that you are going to uh, put your comments questions and that we can then then begin to build a communication between us as we grow in Jesus. Well, for those who have not followed me before, I'm letting you know everything is on my computer. So I've got the camera in front of me. I have my notes here. I have another set of notes underneath. But this week I don't have my phone. Woohoo! So everything is right in front of me. So if it looks like I'm looking to the side, I am reading. And I just want you to know we're all set and ready to go. So again, I'm on the winning side with Jesus. Now, when I went to go look for uh, the song that I would like to upload, I thought, oh my, none of these are any that I would want to share. They sort of remind me when I was a child that sometimes you go, oh my, they're a little flat, they're a little sharp, they're something. Then I had to laugh because I'm going to sing and I thought, oh, somebody on the other side is going to say, oh, she's a little flat, she's a little sharp. The song is I'm on the winning side. And again, part of it is that sometimes we think that our praise and our victory cry comes when we are on top of the mountain. The Bible tells us to bring a sacrifice of praise. So this is a sacrifice of praise. And from my childhood, my grandfather played a mean organ. When he played and he rocked, you could feel the building rock. So this is one of those songs that I remember. And I'm going to sing the chorus only. And then I'm going to flip over to a website that gives you more detail and background to the rest of the story is in description. But I want to read a little bit from there after I sing. I'm on the winning side, I'm on the winning side, I'm on the winning side with Jesus. Oh, hot may be the fray, my soul can boldly say, I'm on the winning side with Jesus. Because when we go over to look at the verses, it's like, I don't even remember. Is that really the song? So this song was written by Charles Wesley Naylor in 1921. So can you believe this song is 100 years old? First verse starts out, Along the way of life are many foes that daily war against my soul, but constant victory my Savior gives to me as I press on to the goal. So I'm going to encourage you as part of your Bible study, you're going to click on that link to go read the rest of those verses. And that becomes part of our meditation. You know, Bible study says we sort of camp in an area and we're going to chew over this idea, the title throughout the week. So I am on the winning side with Jesus. Now, I was very interested to find out more about Charles uh, Wesley Naylor. First, that he was named after a great revivalist, Charles Wesley, but his real last name is Naylor, so it's not the revivalist. 
Um, he was born in 1874 and lived to 1950. He was born in Southern Ohio. Check it out. That's, hey, that's some area for a lot of us who are following Ohio. And reared in Ohio and West Virginia by grandparents. At the age of 19, he left the Methodist Church for the Church of God. He worked for a while at the Gospel Trumpet Company in Grand Junction, Michigan, and on some evangelistic tours. He was ordained in 1899 in Springfield, Ohio. He was first injured in 1908 in Florida while moving timbers from under a meeting tent. He suffered a dislocated kidney and other internal injuries. A year later, he was in a bus accident that left him an invalid for the rest of his life. Naylor wrote eight books, many articles, uh, and pamphlets, many hymns and gospel songs. So again, I come back to when we talk about I'm on the winning side with Jesus, he was in a definite place of struggle. It wasn't like he had a rosy, wonderful life and everything was going great. So we have to remember that when we say we are on the Lord's side and we have victory, it's not because we may see it yet with our eyes, but it is from our heart and the faith and the trust and the belief that God never fails. Let's move into command, covenant, and connection. Our command covenant connection this week is sacrifice of praise. And I believe that's what um, Charles Wesley Naylor was doing. He was giving God a sacrifice of praise, even in the midst of his circumstances, complete invalid. He was still praising the Lord. The items that I have for us to look at, and there are many others, I've listed also in the description a website with 100 verses about sacrifice of praise. And there's so much we could talk about in the Old Testament. Uh, the Lord said, the battle is mine, and he would send um, many times in the armies, the singers and the praisers would go forward. And guess what? The enemy turned on themselves and they never had to lift an armament. So our goal is we want to give God the sacrifice of praise and all of those enemies that are lying ahead of us that seem as large as giants that he will take them out. He will bring them to their knees and vanquish them on our behalf because of our praise to him, our faith, our trust. So let me give you at least a couple to think about. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Philippians 4.4 4. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man, and let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, and tell of his deeds in songs of joy. That is Psalms 107. 21 through 22. And remember, part of your Bible study, don't just listen to me, but every day, please go back. You start reading through in more detail. You might want to rewatch. Remember in the description, I'm going to give you timestamps so you can go to the section on praise. You can go to the section of command, covenant, and connection. And then you can go back and look for and listen to anything that you might have missed because Bible study should really be where we are digging in and hearing more of what God wants to say to us. We're always called to action. Our action this week is God inhabits the praise of his people. We need to actively seek God's presence. He is always present and everywhere around us. However, we cannot be passive and expect God to drop his fullness on us without us asking. And our best way of asking is to let praise continually flow from our heart and mouth. Hebrews 13 verses 15 through 16. And again, for a more detailed article to meditate on the biblical background on God inhabiting, inhabiting woohoo, the praise of his people, check out in description. There is a link. So we also in our action have to choose this day. Choose this day to let your light shine before others. 
that they may see your good deeds and glorify our Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. I'm telling you, way back as I have started journey with Jesus, I know that God is wanting to come into our hearts. And as he comes in, we become his light here on earth. It shines out, it surrounds us, and it draws and it attracts others to him. It's not about us. It's all about him. So I'm glad you're joining me this week. Let's keep looking to the sky for his uh, glorious appearing. We never know when it may be, but you know what? We are called to stand and occupy and to be warriors of God. And remember, we are on the winning side. And you know what our weapon of war is? Love, love. So you'll have to go back. If you've not been following and listening, there are a um, other are um, episodes of Journey with Jesus that talks about love, about all of the things that we need to be doing that are now going to make sense as we grow in the grace and in our process of putting more and more of God's presence in our heart, which then comes out and surrounds us. We are in the bubble of his protection. Have a great day. Make sure you like, follow, comment, and share. And let's get the comments coming and questions that you may have. Like, what do you mean? That's fine. This is a safe place to have a discussion. Love you. Bye.